this is deepika patel and welcome to the vedic mathematics class okay so let's see and let's start our class and let's see what we have to discuss today so we have discussed addition table okay so this session will be the practice session and let's see what you have practiced and what you have learned and i'm telling you again and again the more you practice the more you perfect okay so the maths is all about the practice okay so let's start so in our previous class we have discussed the addition table okay <clears throat> we have discussed the addition table and in the addition table we have see the carry numbers carry numbers and the non carry numbers non carry number so i have told you you have to learn like uh, the double digit numbers which will be the result of the addition like 9 plus 9 is 18 and uh, so on uh, like 4 plus 6 will 4 plus 6 will be 10 so you have to learn all the all those numbers which have double digit answer in addition okay so this will be helpful for you the calculations okay this will be helpful for you calculations okay so for the fast calculations and the more precisely if i can say so let's start our today's topic so we will practice some uh, some additions like now you have to remember the end digit number okay like if we add 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 so the answer will be 16 okay so you have to just remember the 6 for the calculation okay for the fast cal calculation i can say so you have to just remember the end numbers now you have to just uh, if you do addition when you do uh, addition so you have to just remember the end numbers like uh, I, if i'm saying like 9 plus 9 so what will be the end number 8 okay you know 9 plus 9 is 18 and the end number will be 8 so you have to just remember the end numbers it will be benefit for your calculations as i am telling you from the starting okay so let's practice some questions let's practice uh, i am writing down here some questions and you have to tell just the end numbers what we will the end numbers if we add the numbers okay you have to tell end number okay so tell me 9 plus 4 the end number will be 4 plus 6 the end number will be 6 plus 7 the end number will be 7 plus 8 8 plus 9 9 plus 7 Seven plus seven, eight plus four, five plus five. You have to tell immediately, okay? Seven plus four. Take your rough and copy. Take your rough or copy and pen, and just write it down in your notebook, okay? Four plus, let's say, four plus seven. Okay. Let let me cover this seven. You cannot see it. Seven 
okay so 9 plus 4 will be 9 plus 9 plus 4 will be 13 13 so the end number will be 3 6 plus 4 10 the end number will be 0 6 plus 7 13 the end number will be 3 7 plus 8 15 the end number will be 5 8 plus 9 Uh, 17. The end number will be seven. Here, nine plus seven. So nine plus seven will be fifteen. Okay, sorry, sixteen. So the end number will be six. Seven plus seven, fourteen. The end number will be four. Eight plus four, twelve. Two. Five plus five, ten. Because zero. End number is zero. Okay. Seven plus four. The end number is one. Four. Here it is. Repeat. Okay. So no problem. The end number will be one. So here you can see that you just remember the end number. Okay. And the calculations will be easy for you. Like let's take a example. Okay. So let's take a example of the forty-seven and six. So. You have to move just from here, from left side. Firstly, you have to you know that here we have seven and here we have six. Okay, so these are the numbers which give the answer in the double digit. The answer will be the double digit. Okay, so double digit is a carry number. You know that carry number, and the carry number will be what? The carry number will be one. Okay. You can in this table. Sorry, in this table, you can see all those double digit number we have. All those double digit number we have. The carry is one only. We do not have the carry from like two twenty two. So the carry is two or thirty two. So the carry is three. We do not have the uh, carry after one. Okay. So we only have the carry is one. So we are taking the example. Which have the carry is one. Okay, so we are doing the example which have the carry is one. Okay, so let's see. So here you can see that these are the number which will be give the answer in a double digit number and the carry will be one. Okay, so you have to just increase the number. This number, you have to just increase the number by one. So it will be five, and you already know that what is the end number of this addition. Seven plus six is three. So here you have the answer, and you have to just uh, do it in your mind, okay, in your brain. Not do in a slow process. Uh, if you do like this, uh, seven plus six or four plus six, so this will be same as the conventional method, okay. So you have to just uh, do it immediately in your brain, not in your finger, okay. So let's take one more example. Let's take me a. Sorry, let's clear it down. So I am writing here some questions, and you have to do it immediately in your brain, not rough, not copy, not pen. Okay. So give me the answer. Okay, so here we have six question, and you have to do it in your brain. So let's say, I hope you all correct, and you have do, done it very well. So let's say, so the this answer will be four plus one, four is increasing by one is five, and five plus six is eleven, and the number end number is one, okay, fifty one. So six is increasing by one, seven, and nine plus five is fourteen, and the end number will be four. Seven is increasing by one. 
8 and the 7 plus 7 is 14 and the num end number will be 4. 8 is increasing by 1 and the number is 9 and 8 plus 8 is 16 and the end number will be 6. 7 is increasing by 8, uh, 1 and the answer will be 8 and 6 plus 4 is 10 and the uh, ones place number or the end digit number is 0. Okay. 5 is increasing by 1, 6 and 6 plus 5 is 11 and the end number will be 1. So here you can see th that how fast we are doing these calculations. And if we do it, if we go by the conventional method, we will do like 9 plus 5 is 14, then 4 and 1 is carry, then 1 plus 6 is 7. So in the in a minute, we can solve only one question, but in a minute, we, we are solving like six questions, okay? So keep practicing and keep learning and let me give you some homework so you can do at home, okay? So let me write down here. Okay, so wrote down these questions. Uh, sorry, write down these questions and just do it at, do at home. Okay. And please not use your rough copy or pen. Okay, to solve these questions. Okay, just do it in your mind and not use finger also so not use this okay just do it in your mind okay so let's end this class here and uh, we will meet in our next class and hope you are enjoying this session okay thank you for joining this session thank you